Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing photoelectric effect from HCVMA and let's start with objective 1. So in the first question we have to find that Planck's constant has a dimension same as out of these four options. So we already know that Planck's constant is nothing but energy upon frequency. So energy can be written as force into distance or displacement and one inverse of frequency is nothing but time. So force into distance into time will be the dimensions of Planck's constant force into distance into time. So D is the correct option. The second one is two photons having uh, the question is uh, theoretical two photons having equal linear momentum will have equal wavelengths. Okay. So it quite mentioned in this book you can read it. Then question number three let P and E denotes the linear momentum and energy of an photon. So what will happen if its wavelength is decreased? As energy and momentum are given by P is h by lambda and energy by hc by lambda. So when lambda is decreased both P comma E will increase. Okay, As per these expression both will increase as lambda decreases. The next question there are n r and n b with the number of photons emitted by a red bulb and a blue bulb of equal power in a given time interval. So we have to comment which one will be more or less or they are equal or not. So let's see the expression of power. Power is nothing but number of photons per second into energy of each photon. Okay. So this is the number of photons per second and this is the energy of each photon as we know that uh, energy of blue photon will be more than energy of red photon as the wavelength for red is more and then compared to B and energy is inversely proportional to wavelength so we can get energy of blue photon will be more as compared to energy of red photon but the number of photons per second into the individual energy the product is constant as the power of both bulbs are same okay so we can say if EB is greater than ER then NR has to be greater than NB. So there will be no more uh, there will be more number of uh, photons corresponding to red wavelength than compared to photons corresponding to blue wavelength. In the next question this equation E equal to momentum into speed of light is valid. Yes this equation is valid only for photons. But they are not valid for electrons as electron is a particle and uh, which have some mass. So this is valid for photons only. The equation which is valid for electron can be written as E is equal to PC is valid for photon but not for electron. Energy of photon is HC by lambda and its momentum is H by lambda. But if V is the speed of uh, electron and emits mass then and uh, momentum of electron can be given by mv whereas the kinetic energy of that electron will be given by half mv square so it is nothing but pc okay so this is not equal to pc which is valid just for photon only fifth question is uh, sixth question is an interesting one in this the work function of a metal is h mu not the light of frequency uh, mu falls on this metal the photoelectric effect will take place only if obviously when the energy of photon will be greater or equal to the work function of that metal then only photoelectric effect will be able to take place so h mu must be greater than h mu naught so replacing uh, cancelling h we get mu naught must be greater or equal to uh, mu is just greater or equal to mu naught okay in the next question there is a uh, light of wavelength lambda falls on the metal having a work function hc by lambda naught again hc by lambda should be greater than hc by lambda naught hc by lambda is the energy of photon so we can say easily that the lambda this lambda must be less than lambda naught only then the energy of photon will be greater than the energy required for work function okay so in the next question let's have a look at the next question 
in the next question uh, when a stopping potential is applied in an experiment on photoelectric effect no photoelectric current is observed so what does it mean it means as the electrons must be ejected because the frequency has uh, is greater than the threshold frequency so an electron ejects from the metal plate but because of a very strong field it is not able to reach the other plate and electric field will be in this direction this plate will be positive and the other plate will be negative but the force on that ejected electron will be in the reverse direction so the ejected electron will again come back to the same plate from which it is ejected it is called emitter plate so they will be ejected but they will not be able to reach the other plate and they will be reabsorbed by the emitting plate okay in the next question uh, if the frequency of light in a photoelectric experiment is doubled what will happen to the stopping potential okay let's look at the calculations that uh, let's say when the frequency is mu uh, the stopping potential is vs so the equation will be vs is h by e mu minus phi by e and uh, suppose let uh, when the frequency is doubled it's two times initial frequency and the stopping potential is vs dash so we can say vs dash will be h by e into the new frequency which is twice of the earlier frequency minus phi by e phi will remain same as it is a property of material so just uh, by uh, replacing the value of h mu by e as vs minus vs plus phi e we can get this and just by solving this we will get 2 vs plus phi by e from this equation we can say vs dash is obviously greater than double of vs okay so stopping potential has increased more than the double okay so option stopping potential will increase by more than the double c option will be correct okay in the next question if uh, frequency and intensity of a light source both are doubled so which of the following statement is or are correct first the saturation photo current remains almost same yes the uh, statement is correct because uh, intensity is nothing but number of photons per second per unit area into energy of photon means n into n n into h mu if i and mu both are doubled we can say n will remain constant which is number of photons per unit area per second and that is nothing but uh, a, a factor which controls i so n is proportional to i and hence current will remain same as the number of electrons falling per unit area per second are same okay and let's talk about kinetic energy and the statement uh, b uh, the question is demanding that uh, maximum kinetic energy of photoelectron is doubled as we have uh, seen already in question number ninth that stopping potential increases more than double so obviously uh, when we multiplied both side e we can say kinetic energy of the ejected electron and the maximum kinetic energy we are talking about of the ejected electron will be greater than the two times ke max of the earlier case okay so statement uh, second is not correct and first test statement is correct so we'll go with option b uh, in question number 11 a point source of light is used in a photoelectric effect if the source is removed farther from the emitting metal what will happen to the stopping potential as we already know that stopping potential is independent of the intensity it just depends on work function and the frequency of incident light so by changing or by taking a source to a farther distance we will just change the intensity and nothing else so there will be no change in stopping potential and it will remain same so we will go with option c and question number 11 the next question uh, there is a point source which causes photoelectric effect 
so the frequency is greater than obviously threshold frequency and which of the following curve may represent the saturation photo current as a function of the distance between the source and the metal so as we uh, take the metal to a larger distance from the source the intensity would decrease and uh, with increase in distance intensity as well as uh, current both should decrease and we can have the, these calculations also uh, n which is the number of photons falling per second is proportional to the saturation current so n is nothing but power upon the area on which they are spreading so 4 pi r square where r is the distance uh, of the metal plate from the source so i this uh, saturation current or intensity is simply proportional to 1 by r square so this type of curve should be there between i and r so the option d is correct this one option d is correct in the next question there is a monochromatic uh, light which is used in an experiment of photoelectric effect the stopping potential again the stopping potential correspond to uh, uh, kinetic energy of an electron which is have maximum value so uh, for maximum kinetic energy of electron it should be struck by a photon having maximum energy okay so out of uh, this non monochromatic wavelengths means a number of wavelengths are there the maximum energy uh, photon will be of the smallest wavelength so for the smallest wavelength uh, photon energy will be high and uh, it will give you uh, an electron with maximum k so it is related to shortest wavelength stopping potential should be related to the shortest wavelength which is option c in question number 14 there is a proton and an electron which are accelerated by the same potential difference and lambda e and lambda p denotes their de broglie wavelengths and uh, we have to find the relation we or comment which one is more or which one is less so as we know they are accelerated through the same potential difference and they have same charge so their kinetic energy will be same and uh, kinetic energy is nothing but p square by 2m so the particle which is lighter will have smaller momentum and will have larger wavelength because uh, lambda is equal to h by p okay again the particle have smaller mass will have smaller momentum because k is same so it will have larger wavelength again lambda e is greater than lambda p as per this relation okay